Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be doing some prints off of the wood block I carved um, in a previous video. So let's get started. All right, so first let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. So that is, here's a block that I carved in a previous video. I'm trying to adjust my camera, I know. But anyway, this is the block and it looks shiny because I actually use this crystal clear enamel a uh, glossy finish or stolium brand i got it from walmart um so i'm using i used this already yesterday um and sprayed the board down and on the sides as well because this is an mdf board so if it gets wet it will swell or it could swell i might could get a a couple rinses off of it before it swells really bad to like where it's unusable but I'm gonna try this idea out because from college I uh, had some MDF boards and they got swollen. So I'm gonna see if this will help <clears throat> that problem. Um, so anyway, here's the board itself. I have some paper here. Um, I'm gonna be using this as like scratch paper to try to see. Try to see. I know it doesn't fit exactly, but I'm gonna do some test prints before I use my really good um, paper. I have some scrap pieces of paper here. Try to show you scrap paper. Um, so I'm gonna be doing tests on that. Um, this paper that I have here, I'm trying to go too much in this little area. I got this from Hobby Lobby. So it's Canon paper, and it is um, XL mixed media, 18 by 24 inch piece of paper so I'm going to try to make one really nice print off of that and as well as I have some of this paper here so we'll see um, what happens and along with the supplies that I have I have my two brayers a little one and I have a bigger one I have two inks so the speedball from Hobby Lobby this one's water soluble ink, so it can rinse off of here. I can clean it off. And then let's see, this one too is oil based. So I probably use the oil based one last. Um, it also has a really strong smell to it, so we'll see. But if I can get nice prints off of the uh, water based one, then I might not even use the oil based one. But yeah, that's what I have. As well as, so I already told you about this spray. And I have a baking sheet that I got from um, Walmart for two bucks. So I'm gonna be using that to put ink on. So let's get started. I am so, I'm really so excited to do this process. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm going to do it the wrong way. It's kind of old. <sighs> Please, let some come out. Hope we have enough. I got this a long time ago. Right, let's see what we can do. I'm sure I'll have to get some more off Amazon. Okay, so I got my brayer. Going to smush the ink on the brayer. Try to coat the brayer as much as I can. I'm gonna heat the ink up. We're gonna heat it so it's easier to transfer.
So off of my wood block, this is my first print off of it. This is my test print. It does look like a ghost print, but, um, you know, I'm not too, too upset about it. I mean, this is just the first one. I'm going to uh, now go and put more ink on my block and try to get a juicier, darker print. I like everything to be like as dark as possible. So, um, yeah, let's keep trying. So this is the brayer that I'm using, and then here's my cookie sheet with my brayer. And at school, we're always totally supposed to leave our brayer like this, so you don't get a line and make, um, you know, ruin your brayer. So, yeah, so this is what it's looking like. And I just want to make sure I push this, because I'm using my one of my more expensive pieces of paper, almost $3 each, and this was from a long time ago, so... Who knows how much it is now? It's probably five. I'm gonna make sure it's a good print. So I'm gonna check it and see how it's looking underneath. Ooh, it's kind of light. I'm gonna keep pushing it and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna peel it off and see what we got. Wow, it's pretty nice. So you see a little ghost happen in the middle, but that's good to me. So yeah, that's the print. A negative mind will never give you a positive life and only good vibes. But I'm pretty happy with everything. I wish I had kind of like a lighter weight piece of paper. Uh, maybe I'm gonna try a piece of the sketch paper, see if I can get a little bit more detail um because the harder paper it's harder to like smush it in um well smush it down so that you can you know get a nice clean but i love this like dark darkness that's what i'm going for so yeah i'm gonna try with a lighter um weight piece of paper okay okay so i have a piece of paper down um it is actually this one um it's like sketch paper i believe um so yeah that's what i'm using and i actually sprayed the um paper down with a little bit of water because i ran out of ink so yeah i ran out of ink so i sprayed a little bit uh on this tray and started running it trying to wake the ink up i sprayed the paper so, yeah, let's see if it helps at all. Yeah, I hope it comes dark. Oh, it looks like it is. Mm. So, why? So, that's the nice part. If you peel it slow, you can just still rub in the areas that are coming kind of like ghost print. So, ghost print is just um saying that it's too light it's like you can barely see it and i want to be able to see all the detail that i can Ooh, i think we're okay wow 
Wow, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, that's the wood block. And I was able to take a print off of it with this Speed Ball ink, my brayer, and bottle of water, and a baking sheet. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm very happy with it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, wonderful week. Okay, so I just got done cutting off um, the border um, around the piece. Um, this is my block print. It came out really nice. Uh, some of the places that um, I it didn't come out as dark as I wanted, I ended up like darkening it a little bit with pen, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, honestly. Um, but anyway, I got uh, my ruler and I went to the one inch. I went to where the inch starts and I went around the whole piece and measure out an inch and I just made little dots with um, a blue Prismacolor pencil and cut out a one inch border so there it is and I wasn't paying attention and I actually cut a little bit of this off at the top by accident so I'm going to maybe cut off maybe a quarter of an inch uh off of the edge because i mean this is really 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 gonna bother me i'm not gonna be able to frame it and it looks like that or even photograph and it's not gonna look right so i think it's gonna i'm gonna cut a quarter of an inch off of the entire thing now uh to have the final piece but this is what it looks like and i have this big piece of um canson i think it's on the back of this from Hobby Lobby for $2.69's mixed media paper. Um, I mean, I really love the quality of this. I would really like to get more of this paper and maybe make smaller prints so that I could, you know, get more use out of this paper. I'm definitely going to cut this down and try to keep the sides of this paper uh, that I can. Even this, I mean, it's good for a test print. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut that down and... Yeah, that's what I just did, and yeah, thanks for watching.